The sun is to blame for freckles, age spots, spider veins, leathery skin, and loose skin. What? Oh my! So exposure to the sun, wind, and other elements result in more than 80% of the damage on your face, resulting in deep fine lines and wrinkles, thickened skin, discoloration, and even skin cancer. Wow! So those are all the effects of the sun, more as we could imagine, right? That's why in this video, I'll share with you my review on my favorite sunscreen and why it's my ideal sunscreen for the past two years. So keep on watching. Okay guys, so that's the sunscreen I'm talking to you about. I've been using it for, yeah, almost two years. Actually, my previous one is in SPF 30, but since it lasts longer, that's why it took me a while before I could replace it. So now I've been using this one. It says he, it's already SPF 50, and it says here, perfect UV protection essence, and it's water-based, just like the one I used to have. I like water-based because, as you know, I have an oily skin, and if in case I will be applying moisturizer, I would just use the Sana and Maraca moisturizer that I got. It's a Japanese brand, and I reviewed that product already. I thought it's light, and it will go a long way with this water-based sunscreen. That's why. Now, when to use sunscreen, right? Of course, before we uh, move on with the rest of our makeup, sometimes moisturizer first and then sunscreen, which one should go first? Oh, well, apparently it says here that this should be applied on the last step of your skincare routine every morning. Now, since I have an oily skin, I usually don't apply moisturizer anymore because I thought uh, sunscreen is already cream-based. So I think it will do the job when it comes to moisturizing. Especially this one has a moisturizing ingredient as well. But since it's water-based and I've discovered recently the moisturizing effect of Sana and Maraca and I thought it's light, that's why I started using moisturizing moisturizer again. So this one, it's on the last step of my skincare routine, but I make sure that I apply it 20 minutes before I leave the house. Because based from an article that I've read before, it should be applied 20 minutes since there are ingredients there that will penetrate first on your skin before they will take effect. So it is advisable to apply 20 minutes before you leave the house. And as much as possible if you have time to reapply between in between those hours while you are running errands uh, the better but unfortunately with me i don't have time to reapply anymore it's not because we don't see the sun we won't wear sunscreen anymore the more that we have to wear it as when it comes to the sun the one that we can see is the more harmful that's right. So this one is water-based, but it also has the triple protection and it's cream-based. So I think that one is best for those who have dry skin. Uh, since if you don't prefer moisturizing anymore, but of course it is really needed for those who have dry skin. So after you moisturize, then you could apply the sunscreen, right? So this one, guys, uh, since it's already SPF 50, I really trust this product. The more that they have increased its SPF into 50 because this product never fails me. It never broke me out. Plus the fact that I thought it's really protecting my skin, especially while we are on the process of aging. We experience skin aging issues. So the if we could prevent those aging skin issues or signs of aging earlier, the better, right? So that's why sunscreen is really a must or else you will regret it really if you didn't apply sunscreen the soon as possible. So since it's water-based, it's not that sticky. Therefore, it's also very easy to apply on your skin. 
and you won't feel that it's overlapping with the rest of your makeup especially with your BB cream it's like it penetrates deeply so you would still achieve a smooth finish when you applied your BB cream with this sunscreen on it's like you it's not really heavy on your face because it's very light and you know what guys ever since I started using a sunscreen I've noticed uh, that my skin tone became very even i don't have this coloration anymore i recommend this one it does the job and for the price it's only 700 pesos so i think it's worth it also it lasts longer like what i mentioned a while ago i think you know what just one tube of this uh, i've used it for like one year if i'm not mistaken if i'm not going out often but as much as possible i see to it that i apply sunscreen even though i'm not going out you know so just to prepare my skin before i go out if you have an oily skin and if you're looking for a non-sticky and a product that would be easily absorbed without overlapping or overpowering your bb cream this one is a must try overall i'll give this product 9 out of 10 and i'll continue using it because i believe that a sunscreen is a staple product for our skincare routine in the morning so it should be on top of our list so i guess that's it for this video guys if you like this one please give it some love give it a thumbs up and i'll see you again next time bye